Well, it's uh, early morning and I'm here at my house in my pajama bottoms because I can. <laughs> it's that nice feeling to be able to sit here in my pajama bottoms. Anyway, um, I've got my feather cutouts and I've got a candle. And the reason I got a candle is because I want to get all the clay off these tools before I attack the uh, feathers because I don't want to be mixing clay with the, the uh, wax. So the best way to do that is just clean your tools and heat melts this clay. That's why you can't fire this clay because it's a, an oil-based clay or something like that anyway. And it, it doesn't hurt to clean your tools every once in a while. I had to rig up a light above my table. I may have to raise it a little bit because it looks like it's too low. And uh, that's tool number one. And I've got to run back to the studio to get my exacto knife because I left it there at the studio. So I've got a little cleaning to do. I've got these wires here. And I'm going to set these aside over there. And I'm on my computer table is basically what I'm doing because it's the only it's a small house. I don't have a lot of tables. Yeah, it's snowing big time here in uh, southwest Montana where I live. And uh, I am really glad I'm going to be home today working on my feathers. Um, I had to run to the studio real quick to get an exacto knife so I could uh, cut the feathers out. I forgot to uh, do that. So that's the only reason I'm out in the cold in the winter. But I'm still in my pajama bottoms. <laughs> I'm not getting out of them today for nobody. Alright, I'll pick this back up at the studio again. And, uh, I hope it's warmer where you are. All right, I'm just uh, continuing on. I had to run to the studio to get this exacto knife because I had nothing like this in the house. So I uh, ran into the snow and got it. What I'm doing is just cutting out the blanks. Once I get them all cut, then I'll start putting the armatures on them. Now, half these uh, side feathers, or these uh, secondary feathers, will be uh, on one side of the headdress, and the other half will be on the other side of the headdress. And so I need to, uh, when I do this, I'll turn them over, you know, do one with a quill going in here, and then one with a quill going in here, so that I've got them going in the right direction. On both sides don't want to end up with all the feathers on one side going all the way around because that wouldn't look right all right i'm just going to continue uh, cutting and i'll be back all right i got all the blanks uh, made up uh, and i got uh, four more uh, center feather blanks made up as well now the uh, thing that you want to do is keep all your stems or your uh, bottom part of the feather the same length if uh, one's shorter than another one or longer than another one and it's going to look really weird on the headdress and i want to keep the length of the uh, wire at the bottom at the same too now i drew a little uh, thing right here to measure um, my bottoms of the feathers and uh, so i'm just going to put that on there and uh, get a wire Handle it. Alright, now what I want to do is heat up the wire. Because you want it to go into the feather. Or into the wax, I mean. That's 
one blank gun. Uh, let's see where we're going to put these. I'll put them right there. All right, I'm just going to continue doing this until I get a bunch of them made up. All right, what I'm doing is making the bottoms of the feathers. And what I'm doing is cutting the same wax that I've cut off of them and uh, squaring up the bottom and the top. Sure, it's the same length. Yep, and uh, and I'm just cutting them in, setting them aside. These will be the uh, bottom of the quill. This will be the wrap around the quill. That's why I'm cutting them kind of thick. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking. A feather that I've already put the quill into, or the uh, armature into, I should say, and I'm putting that on the base of the feather, and just pressing the uh, wire into the back of it. Now this part of the feather is going to be unseen, uh, the uh, quill part, so I'm not worried about the wire showing. And as you can see. It is the right length. There we go. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want all the feathers to have the same length of uh, wraps at the bottom so that they look uniform on the headdress. So, I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing that. Got all the feathers uh, with their... Uh, quill covered here and uh, and now I start to work on them and what I'm going to do first is trim them down a little bit I'm putting the uh, this part of the, the uh, wire tool against the uh, wire frame and then bending this end down against the uh, board so I get a nice cut going that way and that thins out the edge of the feather which will make it a lot easier to have it look like it's thin when it really isn't and so I'm just going to continue doing that and uh, all right I did pretty much what I did before put the textures in the feather uh, you can check back with the other video from uh, the other day and see how I did that but I did it with a this tool here has a serrated edge on it and so it, you, you get kind of a nice texture in it and then I cut a couple of notches in it just to give it some feather texture I mean look and now I'm making the quill A lot easier to do this in a warm room rather than in a cold studio. And I just uh, place it, let's see, right there. I'm a little short, so what I'll 
do. Whoop. Now I'll leave that. And I'll just fill it with this. There we go. I'm not going to worry about it too much because this feather probably will be covered at that point. It doesn't hurt to try to blend it in. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing on the back except make it just a little thicker. Now this part of the feather is called the uh, rachis, the R-A-C-H-I-S. And it has a bit of a trough that runs right down the center of it. I'm just going to run my thumbnail down the center of it just to give it that trough. Get this excess here out of there. And then just basically follow the curve of the uh, feather. Now, according to Gloria D., who uh, knows about things like this, the uh, Indians would sometimes uh, straighten out their feathers by heating the quill and straightening it out. Uh, modern day uh, people who make war bonnets can't use real real eagle feathers, so they uh, <coughs> take turkey feathers or whatever, and uh, they make the uh, feathers straight or curved by heating them up over a light bulb or whatever way they do it. So that's uh, basically how I'm going to be doing these feathers, and that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you at the studio next time when I attach these to the headdress, I mean the head of the Indian.